كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة السلام عليكم Welcome to today's video Today's task is to find the word challenge, the answer It's a language puzzle and it involves a language that I speak my mother tongue language which is Albanian but who would have thought that an Indo-European language uh, that has a Latin alphabet would have many similar words with a Semitic language, which is the Arabic language, and which uses the Arabic alphabet. Two completely different languages, but yet lots of similarities. Well, today's task is about a word challenge, which is a language puzzle. And I'd like you to uh, guess what's the meaning, especially if you're an Arabic speaker. I'll give you three seconds to guess the word which is from Albanian language initially and then I will translate it to Arabic as well as English. Let's begin. This first word is in Albanian Tamam. You guessed it? Complete. Okay. Tamam. Just like in Arabic. Tamam. This next word in Albanian is Portokal. You got it? Burtukal in Arabic, right? Orange. Well done. The next word is Jep in Albanian. Jep. That's right. Jape in Arabic. Jape which means pocket. Moving on, this next word is chorap. Chorap. Jurap. Jurap in Arabic, which means socks. The next up is Duchan. Duchan. Three seconds gone. Dukan. Dukan. Which means shop. Well done. Right. Uh, the next word in Albanian is Ilach. Ilach. That's right. Ilach. Ilaj in Arabic, which means medicine or treatment. Doing good. Next up is kafas. Simple. Kafas. Correct. Kafas. Kafas in Arabic, which means in English cage. A bird's cage, for example. Next Albanian word word is Hendek. Not very much used, but Hendek. Three seconds. Khandak. That's correct. Khandak. Which means ditch or trench. Doing good. Next up is Zarf. Zarf. Darf in Arabic. Darf. That's correct, which means envelope. It has many meanings in Arabic, but one of them is envelope. Next up in line is Kala. Kala. The apostrophe, the stress is on the second syllable. Kala. In Arabic, I think you guessed it. Kala. In the first syllable. Kala. Castle. Well done. Next up is Akrep in Albanian. Akrep. Correct. Scorpion in English. In Arabic, Agrab. Agrab. The next word is Divan. In Albanian language, a word called Divan. 
Three seconds gone. D1 in Arabic. D1, which means in Albanian it means sofa, but I believe in Arabic it means sitting room. Nearly the same. To rest, to sit. Next up, Ibrik in Albanian. Ibrik. Got it? Ibrik. Ibrik. Which means teapot or rather even better jug. Right. Well done, you're doing really well. Let me know how many you guys scored out of this. Uh, next up in line is Kalem. Kalem. Albanian language, Kalem. Which means Kalem. Actually, with a ka, Kalem. Kalem in Arabic. Pen. Uh, to be precise, pencil. But to write, pencil. To write with. Next up is chai. An Albanian word, chai. That's correct. Shai. In Arabic, shai. Which means tea in English. Uh, related to the same word, I'm going to give you a clue this time. Filjan. Filjan. This was an easy one, right? I think you got it. Finjan in Arabic. Finjan, which means cup. Well, actually, uh, a little bit of research on this word, I found that it was actually originated by uh, from the Persian language, but very much used in the Arabic uh, region. Next up is katil. Katil. Katil, yes, katil in Arabic. Uh, we use katil uh, if you'd like to mean a word that's uh, really bad. For example, this person is bad, you know, an evildoer. Katil uh, means in Arabic, I believe, katil means a killer. Right, next up is sakat. Sakat, Albanian word. That's correct. Sakat. Sakat. Which means uh, to fall. Right? Uh, we call uh, sakat whenever we like to uh, refer to someone who is disabled. He has fallen, broken something, and he's disabled. Remember, this is not the official language, Albanian language. But rather is the ancient, the old uh, Toscan gag language, which uh, has recently revolutionized. You know, uh, some of these words probably you don't quite see in the new generation, the young generation. But nine out of ten, if you speak these words to an Albanian and you're an Arabic speaker, they will understand you. And uh, moving on with haram. Haram. So haram means uh, an easy one. I think you got it straight away. It means not allowed, right? In Arabic, haram. And that's what that's what that's what uh, it's actually meaning. Haram. Right. This final word. I hope you're with me, and you've scored as many as you could. In fact, maybe even all. Right. This final word is rahmat. Rahmat with a ra. Rahmat. Right. Rahma. In Arabic, that's correct. Rahma, which means uh, when someone has passed away, we say peace, mercy be on him or her. That's what it is, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really wanted to share this video with you because there were many words that um, I've come across that have similarities with Albania. And I said, why not make a video and inform everybody? But uh, let me know if you're from the Balkan region, Bulgaria, Romania, Bosnia, all of you guys, despite being uh, Slavic language you might recognize many of the words that I mentioned today because of course they come from the Ottoman Empire uh, and Ottomans got it from the Arabic language it's all about you know uh, sharing and caring it's all about learning it's all about accepting everybody and sharing the culture and the language which is what we speak until my next video assalamu alaikum سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخرين في الحياة بالتحدي لا سوى